<laughs> Welcome back to Brickmania TV. <laughs> You just broke the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to another episode of Brickmania TV. Sorry. <laughs> Landon, you're not in this one. <laughs> so I'm Dan Siskin. I'm here with Cody Ocell. Uh, we're both builders here at Brickmania, but uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, Cody's awesome CMP FAT model. And Dan's awesome 25 pounder. Oh, that's, that's a <laughs> <laughs> And this thing, what's that thing? That is a limber. So basically, what, what, is, what, is, the, what is the CMP FAD? First, let's start with the... It's a Canadian vehicle built by Chevrolet, used in mostly the Italian front. I think, well, I think anywhere the Canadians were, uh, this would be. So um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically what, an artillery tractor? Yeah. And it's, this, it has some cool features. Just, just do that again. Just show everybody <laughs> okay. what you just did. I built steering into it. So it's, it's really cool. You turn the spare tire and the vehicle will turn. What's really neat is when you have all these things put together, you basically have a little train you can push around. So yeah, um, so yeah we have the, the, the CMP FAT. It's an artillery prime mover. Mm -hmm. uh, how many guys does it usually hold? Like six guys? It can usually hold six guys. Um, you can probably only fit four in there. Yeah, yeah. But, you, you, but the, the top pops off. Yeah, why don't you demonstrate that? That's cool. So you can see. I put five seats in there, but maybe if you take the middle guy's arms off, you can probably fit <laughs> five guys in there. You could have a halfway hanging out the doors. So you have four opening doors, right? And a yeah, hatch. four opening the... doors. Yep. And a hatch for the guy with a Bren gun. Yeah, there's always, a, you know, every Canadian, you know, I, I played Call of Duty and, and I had a Bren gun too, and I was playing <laughs> the Canadian guy. And you just walk around shooting people, that's what Canadian dudes do, right? Yeah. Lumberjacks with Bren guns. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're too big to use those puny SMLE rifles, SMLEs. So yeah, it also has an opening trunk. And does the mm -hmm. hood open or is that something that... The hood kind of opens, there's not much to see in there, but... <laughs> The steering mechanism. Yeah, right? maybe. <laughs> Mostly just blocked so, off. Well, that's that's really cool. I mean, so yeah. this this is it's, it's it's a fairly sturdy vehicle. It has lots yeah. of cool little features in it, and you can fit four guys inside. Yeah. So speaking of guys, uh, we do have actually four guys in here. It's kind of funny. We call these the jerkin guys because they have little leather jerkins on them. So <laughs> we copy. They, they you know they're leather jerkins, but you can also say they're they're uh, Canadian military sweater vests too. <laughs> That's what it looks like. They look like they're dressed for business. Yeah. Shut Not up. for work. <laughs> <laughs> so, lumberjacks and sweater vests, leather sweater vests, attacking yeah, Germans. You know? Yeah. You know, they make nightclubs out of like, like this in San Francisco and Seattle. Yeah. So, <laughs> 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 so, um, so, basically, yeah, so we have the, we have the, the, the artillery tractor, the, mm -hmm. the CMP F 18. It's, there's some interesting things. I, 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 I know some Canadians, they told me some interesting <laughs> things about this vehicle. Um, particularly the, the windshield on it. Yeah. Um, so there's a reason they sloped it down like that. Mm -hmm. um, and that would be um, that it doesn't reflect light up like a, a normal ordinary windshield. So like if you're an airplane looking for uh, targets to bomb, you'll have a little hard time, harder time finding the CMP because the windshield does not reflect sunlight back up in, uh, into the sky. Mm -hmm. No glare. So. <laughs> the returning custom printed tile, I guess, is that headlight. That was on the... Uh... Sure. You have a headlight, but we also have a number for those, that, like a, a convoy number, a vehicle number. Yeah. And uh, is that little Canadian flag? That's printed yeah, on there. Yeah, the flag's on there, yeah. Yeah, so you have the Canadian. This is, you know, this is cool. This is our first time we've done this. This is the first Canadian division yeah. insignia. So, so if you're making, uh, you know, Canadian vehicles, you, you could buy a whole bunch of these and put one tile on each one of your Canadian vehicles. So <laughs> we're making 50. If you want to buy all 50, you certainly can. Um, Another thing, I think Cody mentioned this, we have this limber here. So this mm -hmm. is ammunition limber. Um, I can load it up. Yeah, this is a, this is a number 27 am ammunition limber. Uh, it's designed specifically for the, the ammunition that comes with the 25-pounder uh, here. Uh, basically, yeah, we hook it up. This is kind of a cool little discovery we made. You can, you can hook these things together using these, these uh, fancy little uh, clips. Uh, so the ammunition limber gets towed behind the, towed behind the, the artillery tractor. Uh, then you can take the 25-pounder. Uh, so one other thing about the 25-pounder, not run video, we can do this. So the 25-pounder <laughs> has this cool little wheel that they drop down. Uh, there's one of these right up the street by, by our warehouse, actually, yeah. in front of the National Guard ar Armory. But there's a, there's a big metal 
rotating or platform that they can rotate the gun on. It's really easy for these guys to move and they don't have to undig the, the gun out of the ground in order to shoot uh, uh, different targets. But the, the, they'll actually, when they're, when they're move, packing it up, they'll roll over the, uh, the pedestal and then it doesn't drag on the ground anymore. So we pack it up for, for moving. Oops, it's actually supposed to go like that. That stays there. Fast yeah. <laughs> Dance pretty fast. In, insert music here. <laughs> beep, beep, insert Benny Hill theme here. All right, yeah. so you have your, your vehicle with all the stuff attached to it. So they can, basically, this is how it would travel. A couple brick arm shells. Yep, you get a couple of brick arm shells. You get a whole array of guns. So, you know, <laughs> in spite of the myth that the, the w really, really uh, widely uh, uh, propagated myth that every Canadian got a Bren gun is actually, you know, only partially true. <laughs> only like one in four get a Bren gun. The other, the rest of them get are armed to the teeth with pistols, <laughs> Sten guns, SMLEs, and then when they don't have a gun, they just throw the artillery shells. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes they have chainsaws and axes too. Yeah. So what was that? Was that machete type thing that you were talking about? Oh, that was a bolo knife, I think. Oh. Yeah, yeah that was that was World War One. No. Oh. Yeah, those weren't Canadians. Those were guys from from Massachusetts. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. <laughs> well, anything else that's, that we should know about the, you know? I don't know. I know that's one of my favorite artillery pieces that you designed, though. Oh, it's really? one of the coolest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's super fun and playable and it works. Yeah, yeah. We, have it. we also have this one in tan. Uh, we made a couple batches in tan. This is the first time it's been available in this color. Mm -hmm. um, Try backing it up. Oh, Do no we have way. to fire you again? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh, wait. No, oh, no, 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 no. We're lost. This is why we can't let Landon drive the van. Oh, we are. That's really, awesome. that really fun to play with. Oh, yeah. So. Oh. <laughs> Worst well, episode the queen, ever. The queen, you've just made the queen's list. You're never going to be allowed back into Canada. No. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching another episode of Brick Mania TV. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, what's our, uh, you, you know our hashtag this month? No, I don't. Oh, it's, well, I'll tell you. It's, okay. Uh, <laughs> it is Winterline Bricks. So, Winterline Bricks. So we're celebrating, Winterline was the, uh, you know, I think we mentioned this before in previous episodes, it's the, the line of German fortifications that basically tre prevented the Allies from uh, conquering or liberating Italy during World War II and this is one of our you know the, the first Canadian division participated in that and, and here we are uh, um, in the middle of Winterline Bricks month so hashtag Winterline Bricks for your chance to win fabulous prizes get on Facebook Instagram and Twitter Twitter tweet us at at Brickmania Toys <laughs> all right <laughs> you better just cut <laughs> 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 I'll be covered up by that thing. Oh, <laughs> it's real! <laughs> like a subscribe or something. I already did that. Oh, Worst episode all right, ever. Enough, enough, enough. <laughs> Land is lying. Uh, all right, Landon, you get to do the next one. Yeah.